All right, gym owners, I got a special treat for you. I am at a local gym about 15 minutes away from my house, and I have the opportunity to walk through their setup, aka their lobby and offices, and I'm gonna show you what I would do if I owned this facility and this was my gym, and I'm gonna show you how I would set it up and what the sales room would look like and everything else. So bear with me as we kind of walk through and point out different things. Hopefully this will be a value for many of you, and today's is really gonna focus on how I would set up my sales room because most of the time when people come in, obviously the first time as a prospect, their first impression when they walk through the door is really, really important. But even more important than that is really setting yourself up for success when it comes to sales. And so we're gonna walk through the sales choreography of what that should look like, as well as what the room, when you have a room, because you should have a room, what that looks like and how you should set it up. Come on, follow me and let's check it out. All right, so we're inside the lobby. You can tell a ton of space, which is incredible. They've done an amazing job just setting it up, making it feel super open. Immediately, one of the things right now at this facility, they do their sales right here at this table. I would make one small adjustment. I would most likely try to do some more product stuff over here. So when they walk in, it's more branded. They have more products. It could be apparel, could be hats, could be supplements, whatever they're trying to do. So when they walk in, they see it. There's an office right here, check-ins, love it, all that stuff. So they can check in immediately when they come into their sessions or for private training, semi-private, whatever it is. But I wanna show you one thing right now. Instead of doing the sales, right here, I would most likely move it to one of these offices. And this is a great facility because they have multiple offices here. So they have a ton of opportunity to utilize the space really, really well. So they have one right here, which I like. They have a physical therapist that works out of this facility. They have massage, all that stuff. So PT is there. And then we have two other offices back here. So what I would do most likely is turn this office back in here into an actual sales room. Right now it's being used as a podcast recording room. You could use it for both, but here's how I would set this up. When someone comes in, they would come into the facility, they would check in, you would have a stack of papers of literally just name, email address, and phone number. You'd have them sign in. What's really important about this is as soon as someone walks in and they're a prospect, you want to make sure that that piece of paper, that sign-in sheet is not at the top, it's at the bottom. So you should have stacks and stacks and stacks, like tons of sign-in sheets. What that's going to do is immediately be like, oh shoot, a lot of people have come in, right? And so you want to create immediately that authority in your area that a lot of people come and train here. So that's a simple little thing right away. Then you would hand them a questionnaire. So when they came in, you'd hand them a questionnaire. They would take that, they go sit on the couch, they would fill out the questionnaire. When they're done, they'd bring it back to the front desk. Then the front desk person would take it, give it to the salesperson or owner who would be back here in this office. They would review it, come out, meet the person, shake hands with them, walk them back here, and they would come in. Now, what I would do when I would set this up is I would have this entire room. I would take everything else off the wall, take all this stuff out. And what I would do is literally from the floor to the ceiling, wall to wall would be testimonial pictures of your clients, reviews. You can literally print out Yelp reviews. You can print out Google reviews. You can print out Facebook reviews, before and afters, pictures, you name it. You wanna put as much social proof and authority on this wall so it is overwhelming. Forget so much about, oh, it has to look perfect in a perfect frame, forget that. That stuff doesn't really matter. What matters more is that the person walking in can trust that you have the skill set and ability to actually do what you say you're gonna do. An easiest way to do that is to actually create social proof. So I would literally do plaster this entire wall, everything's set. Now, the next Next piece, you see this table. I would move this table, basically take the table out because what happens with a table on this, and I understand there it's a po for podcasts and stuff, but what I would do is if you have a table, it sets something in between you and the prospect. You always want to sit side by side. They would come in and you could literally just sit next to each other. And if you had a table, that's fine. But what I would do is I would have myself here and the prospect here. And so I'd be right here next to them, walking through the questionnaire, walking through what their goals are, asking them all their questions about, can we even help you? What are you trying to achieve, right? And why did you come in? All of the simple basic sales processes that we teach all of our gyms how to do, and you can find videos on this on our YouTube channel, but this is how I'd set it up. Because what it does is this choreographed process prepares and sets the client up for success. And so when they come in, by just having them do sign and sheet, and they have to go all the way and they have to flip through 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 different sheets, they immediately again are like, wow, lots of people have come in here. Then when you have have them sit down and do a questionnaire, it's like going to a doctor's office. When you go to a doctor's office, what do you do? You walk in, you go to the front desk, the receptionist gives you a piece of paper to go fill out, tells you go sit down. When you're done, bring it up, we'll review. And then when you bring it back up, cool, we're gonna get this back and then we'll get you back to see the doctor right away. So how can we use that to our authority? How can we use that in our favor? Just repeat the same actions. Have them fill out the questionnaire, sitting down in your lobby, bring it back up to the front desk, take it, bring it back to the salesperson or the owner. And if you're that person, just take it, review it, take a few minutes and then bring them in, welcome them, bring them in, have them sit right next to you and then go through the process. So if you're in a facility and you have the space, really try to maximize your space so that you create a choreographed sales process from the moment someone walks in. If you do that, you'll notice immediately a massive switch 
in your close percentage, an increase in that, and you'll be able to close more people. You'll be able to ultimately change more lives and stack more cash. So if you like this type of content, you want to see more of this, hit the subscribe button, hit the like, or drop a comment down below. Just let us know. Do you like this? Don't like this? What would you change? All that stuff. And you can tell I'm not an interior designer. This isn't my facility. And it's not like I know anything about the lobby. I just know exactly how to sell people. And so it's really, really important to understand what that process looks like and how you can construct it and basically bend it in your favor. And so you can use human behavior, cultural norms, and other items and things like that in life to ultimately make more sales and change more lives. So hopefully this helps you guys. If you guys need anything else, again, drop a comment down below. We'd love to make more content. Tell us what you want to see and we'll make it happen.